let's talk about dramatic portraits. And more specifically, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create dramatic portraits using just one single light source. First, let's look at the gear that you will need to actually achieve this look and setup. And number one on that list is an actual space to shoot in. You could either use your home, a garage, or like I am using today, a studio space. Next on that list is a dark backdrop. Although do not require it, it is advisable that you use a dark backdrop. This way you will get closer to the result you are trying to achieve with less work. Next on that list is a camera, of course. You can use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, depending on what you have at your disposal. And of course, to go with that camera, you will then need a lens. You don't need any specific lens, but what I would recommend is something from about 50 millimeter and above or a 35 millimeter if you're shooting on a crop frame sensor camera. Next on that list is your light source. And on this occasion, I'm gonna be using a 200 watt strobe and that's gonna be paired with a medium to large side softbox. I'm gonna be using a 120 cm softbox. And next on that list is a model, of course. You can either use a female or a male model, depending on who is your subject matter. And last but not least, wardrobe you need to have the appropriate wardrobe to match the mood and vibe that you're going for. I would recommend going with darker tones or darker colors. So for my lens and camera combination today, I'm gonna to be using the Sony a7 IV and that's paired with a Tokina 85 1.8. Although this is not necessary, I will be using this lens at about five to f6. So you do not need a 1.8 lens. Like I said, a 35 or a 50 mil will work perfectly fine. But this is my setup. You're also gonna need a trigger to trigger your light. However, you can use this setup using continuous light like you can see me using now for this video. But if you would like to see that setup, let us know in the comments below and we can make a future video showing you how to do that with a continuous light. So now that we've got everything out of the way, let's get into the technical details and start breaking down everything one by one. So guys, it's now time to break down the technical part. And to help us do that today, I've got a lovely wing with us. She's gonna be our model today. So the first thing we wanna do is actually assess our setup. We wanna work out what our composition is gonna be. So you could either shoot portrait mode or you could go landscape orientation. It all dependent on what you are trying to achieve. So for us, I'm gonna be shooting both portrait and landscape orientation for the purpose of this video. So the next thing we want to do is we want to shut our lights off. So we're going to shut the actual lights in the room off. So now that we've shut our lights off, the only light we've got present in the room right now is the light that's lighting us for the video. And the next thing you're going to want to do is set your exposure or your ambient exposure for the image. For us, what we want to achieve is a completely black frame. And don't worry, we will be then adding light with our strobe to actually illuminate our subject properly. So let's take a step shot. I haven't changed any of the settings of the, on the camera at the moment, so we're gonna be taking a shot as is. And there you have it, a completely black frame. And to achieve that black frame, what we've got is a setting of F5, shutter speed at 200 and our ISO at 100. Now that we've dialed that in, the next step is to add our light. So for our light, as mentioned before, we are using a 200 watt strobe for this setup and that is paired with a 120 cm softbox. Our light is currently at about a 45 degree orientation as well as about four to five feet away from our model. So we put our light on and we take a test shot just to work out whether we've got the right exposure for our subject. So we're gonna turn our lights on. That is our light on. So currently our light is set to 116 power. You could use a light meter to actually get the correct exposure that you want and need. But assuming that you don't have a light meter, the best rule of thumb is to do it by sight. So you take a shot and work out whether you're happy with the exposure you got. And if not, you then dial in the correct setting to match your desired look. 
Good thing to note as well is the closer the light is to your subject, the softer that light is gonna be on the actual face. So the size of your light shaping modifier will also play a part in that too. So, first shot we're gonna take is And for me, I think 16 is slightly too high. So what we're gonna do is dial that down and we're gonna bring that down to about one thirty second power. And we take another shot. And I think that is a lot better and a lot more into what we want to achieve. Right, the other thing you need to take into consideration as well is your model's positioning. You need to work out what is the best angle for your model and a good rule of thumb is to ask your model what side of their actual face they prefer to be photographed on. And in this, on this occasion, we are gonna be photographing Wing from the left to right. She prefers her angles that way, so we're gonna work with that angle. So if she had preferred to go on the opposite side, what we would have done is then move our light over to the opposite side. And finally, let's talk posing. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your poses complement both your model's features as well as the lighting. So, are you ready? Yes. Are you guys ready? Let's take some shots. And just love just bring your eyes down a little bit perfect and then bring head back towards me tiny bit good eyes towards me Okay. And there you have it guys, a simple one light dramatic portrait setup. Let us know in the comments below which shot was your favorite and why. So I wanna say a huge thank you to our model Wing for joining us today. I'm gonna to put Wing's detail in the description below, including all our socials, so make sure you go follow her. Yeah, that's it. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you soon. <laughs> the, bloop, the bloopers are gonna be lit.